Hi Gemini, this is Mary Chi, my channel to look up. Let's see what is your situation as of now and what you need to hear from me. Gemini is out there, Sun, Moon, or Rising, Venus. What do you need to hear right now? There is something about a connection, okay, which you are trying to assess. Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo or probably a Cancerian. Hmm? You're trying to Mm. see where things are going within this connection okay moving on Gemini what do you need to know right now so your first card is a seven of pentacles some of you might be dealing with a Taurus energy okay and it seems like you're waiting upon things to manifest things to move okay you're putting the work, but you need to see results. You need things to start moving. It seems like you have been waiting for quite some time. Okay? You're looking at the seven of pentacles where you put in the effort and you're waiting for, you know, reaping the results for the harvest time. Okay? It's taking some time right now. All you want is things to start moving. So stagnant energy, movement. So you, you're hoping for things to progress. Hmm? Uh, some of you might be dealing with a Taurus or a Sagittarius person. Moving on. Gemini, what else? Okay, this is the card. You want things to flow in balance. Things to get aligned. Okay, things to go... Um, you know, things to settle down. Hmm? Yes. You want to bring things back on track. That is what you're waiting on. Having a control over the situation. To align things. Moving on. Again, uh, some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Cancerian. Gemini. What else, please? Your next card is this one. Is a card. Remember initially I showed you the um, helmet and the two of cups? Make sense? So this is what you're waiting on. The big cup. The cup full of happiness. Everybody wants this. This is what you are hoping for. Hmm? This is what you're seeking for. This is one of the most beautiful, both these cards are the most beautiful card, cards in this deck. The sun. It speaks about, you know, happiness, you know, things getting brighter, bigger, beautiful. But this is all about happiness itself. Having it all, whatever you want it. It's your cup brimming to the, you know, to the top. Overflow. What else? Gemini, what else? You can't ask this one though. Intuitively, you know, this is supposed to happen. That's how you're calming yourself down. You know it in your bones that this is going to happen. This, this cup is going to come through eventually. You just have to wait for things to happen. And it seems like... Yes, it seems like it might. I get the Ten of Cups. Again, okay, I keep repeating the word happiness, but all the cards are coming through which speaks about happiness. This is the happily ever after. You've got a rainbow full of cups. This, this, this card is full of joy. Everything which you wanted. Oh my God, Gemini, what are you up to? We are in the Gemini season right now, right? Yeah, from the 21st is a concern. So yes, it's your time. It's about ha uh, having a family as well.
you intuitively deciding this is what I want in my life. Okay? Some of you might be dealing with a Pisces. What else, Gemini? What else? The next card is a Four of Cups. But unfortunately, right now, uh, there is so much disappointment. There is so much regret. You're not liking how things are right now with this Four of Cups. Just don't like it. Again, another Cancerian energy. Hmm? There might be other people who is involved in your story. If not a third person, there is another person involved in your story. Or multiple people who is involved in your story and you're, not, you're just not liking it. So much disappointment, so much regrets. Hmm. But still, you feel like there is a potential to change things around. To make things go in your favor. You believe in it. Okay? Because right now, whatever is being offered to you, you're not happy with it. You want much, something much more bigger. If you look at this card, there is a cup which is being offered. But this person's hands is like tied. Sorry, no thank you. This is not what I want. Please, take it away. What you are hoping for is this big, huge damn cup. Okay? This something much more bigger. Hmm? Not this teeny weeny cup. No. You're almost saying next. Not this. No thank you. Just next. Okay. Because you see, there is a potential to have what you want. What you're seeking for. Gemini is out there. What else? Your next card is Ten of Cups. Just confirm it. Okay? Just confirm it. That is what you're wishing for. To have this happiness eventually. Okay? To have it all. I'm not even kidding with you. Do I have to explain myself again? No. I think I should have just stopped there. Anyways. Things seem to be getting brighter. Better for you. It's, it's whatever you're waiting for, it is happening. It's coming through. Like finally it's happening. Hmm? All right, Gemini, all right. Where else? The next card is this one, Seven of Wands. Very much adamant, okay? You're on shaky grounds, but still, you're very much defending what you want. Hmm? Because you believe that nobody, nothing is going to stop you from diverting or uh, moving away from this plan of yours. Okay, nothing is, nothing is going to uh, make you doubt yourself. That is... Is there a possibility to get this? No, you're not going to doubt it. You're going to be very protective about this. You're aiming for this, you will go after it. Until you get it. Because you're just not happy with whatever it is, you know? Or whatever you're being offered. No, you want something much bigger. Much stable. And you're charging, you're taking charge. It's not just like you're just sitting there and just waiting for things to fall in your lap, no. You are taking charge to make things, you know, happen, come your way. You're taking, you know, you're literally taking the reins of this chariot. Strong Cancerian energy within your reading. Okay, another Cancerian, uh, Cancerian card. Sagittarius. What else, Gemini? What else? The next card is a world. You're prioritizing right, uh, yourself right now. You want to have a shift within your life. With how things are in your life right now. Because whatever it is, you're not liking it. Whatever you're aiming for is this Ace of Cups. 
you want to have that shift where this is being offered to you. The judgment. You know, it's, it's like the final verdict. This has to happen. And you're fighting for it. You really will make this happen. Very interesting, Gemini. Very interesting energy. What else? What else? Next card is a five wands. Like I said earlier, there are so many people who is opposing you. Okay, there is so much conflict also in your head. You know, what if it doesn't work? What if I don't get this? That's there too. But it seems like there is so much. Uh, because if you look at the seven of wands, you are warding off people. You are pushing away people. Okay, with the seven of wands, you are being guarded, defending yourself. But what are you guarding yourself from? Peace. Okay, again, everybody is with the ones. Okay, they are in a battle. Okay, it's, it's like a cat fight there. But yeah, you would overpower that. Okay, everybody who is up against you. Okay, you're going to manipulate into... um. Manipulate the situation so it goes your way. So you can manifest what you want. It doesn't matter how many people are against you. You're just going to make it work. Yeah. You will see through it. Okay. That it... Whatever you're waiting upon will come through. Whatever that cup is about will come through, will be offered to you. Oh my God, Gemini. It's all about you. With the word card as well, it's all about you. You're prioritizing yourself. Which is good. Okay, Gemini, what is your last card? Last card is the Queen of Wands. You know what you're worth. You're somebody who will make things happen. Okay, you will go to any extremes to make it happen. You know uh, you deserve it. Okay. You're well aware of your power. Okay, somebody who can make anything go their way manipulate a situation to go their way that kind of a person because she has a black cat underneath here just saying yeah and if she is focused on this she will grab that cup no matter how okay she is not liking the cup which is being offered to her her eyes is focused on this okay and she will make that happen Right now, she is just thinking how to go about this. Okay, there is a stagnancy which is going on. She is trying to understand the situation. Very beginning, if you remember, I showed you the two of cups and the hermit. So, hermit is also someone who is assassin. Okay, who isolates himself. And tries to think about the situation from every angle possible. And, you know, analyzes, assesses, and, you know... May, uh, comes to a conclusion. He he seeks for answers, and I see you have realized what is what is that what you want. Hmm? Just like the hangman who is enlightened, he has a halo uh, around his head, so he is enlightened and he knows exactly what he wants. But there is a stagnancy. But what you're seeking is for that two of cups to happen, and you will make that happen. You will get that ace of cups. At least you're walking towards it. This story doesn't talk about whether you will get it or not. This speaks about what are you aiming for? What are you after? Okay? Your belief in whatever you are after. Okay? You're not sitting and compromising with whatever is being offered. No. That's not good enough. I want something better. So you after something. Okay? Uh... And it has to do with your future. 
Okay, even with that two of cups and the ten of cups, it makes it makes a shift in your future. Makes uh, makes things better for your future. Even with that sun card, it's like you know everything gets better once this happens. That's it for now. This is Marishi, your channel, Shiloka. Until next week. Bye bye.